Mike here again with Beginning Visual Basic and this is the second video for this chapter. I'm going to go back into my chapter 3, open up my flooring example. Remember you're looking for the Microsoft Visual Studio solution. I'm going to launch the project. And in this video I want to show you how to do grand totals. If you remember our form window, we had three inputs and three text boxes and three outputs. To get the grand total we've got to dim a variable. Let's go into my code window. Let's review a little bit. These three variables right here I used for input from the text boxes. Doing my uh, decimal.parses. You see I, I decimal.parsed from txt length dot text the text box turned it into a decimal put it into desk length did the same thing for width and I did the same thing for cost and then I calculated and put that into these two variables because these are going to be outputs my square feet for the room and the total cost for the room I'm also going to calculate my grand total but I have to dim the variable to hold the grand total elsewhere. I can't do it in the sub. Let me explain why. These variables right here that I dimmed are local or they're also known as automatic variables. They are automatically created when the user clicks on the calculate button and they're in existence until you hit in sub. Once you hit in sub, Visual Basic says those aren't needed anymore. So these get created and set to zero every time the user clicks on button, calculate click, clicks on the calculate button. They're used throughout the sub and when we hit in sub, they're freed up because they're not needed anymore. So if I did that with a grand total variable, it would get created and set to zero. In the sub, I would add my subtotal to my grand total and then in sub that variable would go away the next time I clicked on the calculate button it would get created again but it would start out at zero so what we have to do is I'll come up here is I have to dim my grand total at the module level so right up here you see it says public class form one right under that is where you dim your module level variables and module level variables get created when the program starts and they don't go away until the program ends. So they get created, they start at zero, but they don't go away each time the button gets clicked. So I can now I can add my grand total to the grand total variable and it won't keep going back to zero. Now that happens with this line of code right here. You see I take the total cost for the current room, add that to the grand total, and then I make it the new grand total. So this line right here keeps adding it to the grand total variable and we have what we call a running total. Now one thing you can do in Visual Basic instead of say writing it the way I did I can say when it lets me here there we go I can say plus equal. So let me show you that instead. If I do it this way I'm saying take total, add it to the existing grand total and get a new grand total. The other way you can do it is this way which is really the same thing. This is this bottom one is just a shorthand. You're going to do it one way or the other but not both. So in this code example I did it the old-fashioned way so to speak instead of using the plus equal operator. We want to see this work. So I'm going to click right here in the gray and put a breakpoint where I'm calculating my grand total. Now I'm ready to run my program. Remember, they're going to type in these three things and we're going to get all these answers. So let me start the program. Now, but by putting that breakpoint, my program will pause when it hits that line of code. So let's pick some numbers. Let's say 10 feet long, 15 feet wide and my flooring is five dollars and ninety five cents a square foot calculate so now it's run all this code has been run okay it's paused at the grand total
So if we look right now, length is $10, I mean 10 feet, width is 15 feet, the cost per square foot is $5.95. I used decimal.pars to get that, uh, get that out of each of the text boxes. Then I did my processing. My square feet is length times width, so that has 150 square feet. My cost is square feet times $5.95, so that's $892.50. Now I've got to take $892, add it to my grand total, which is zero. So I'm going to use the shortcut key, which is F10, to run this line of code. Now you see desk grand total is $892.50. The last thing I have to do is I'll hit, F, I'll hit F11 three times here, one, two, three, is take my answers and put them back into the labels so the user can see them. So I'm going to come back up here and just say continue. Now you see my program, 150 square feet, $892, $892 for the grand total. Let's do a new room. Let's do, uh, oh, Bill Gates is having a party, so he's got a ballroom, and it is uh, 50 feet by 150 feet, and he wants to put some really nice flooring in it, so that's $29.95 a square foot. So let's hit calculate. Hang on to your wallets, here I go. So look where it paused, right at the grand total. But let's look. Square feet is 7,500 square feet. The cost is, oh, that's a big number. It's hard to read right here. Looks like that might be 2,246,000, or it might be 240, uh, 224,000. We'll find out when it puts it in the label. So it's going to take my old grand total, which is 892, add to that this big number. Remember, I'm going to hit F11. Look back up here on the debug menu. I can hit F10 or F11. I'm going to hit F10 to run the next line of code. So now we can see my new grand total is 22.5. I'm going to hit my F10 to put the answers and now you can see that the total cost of that room was $224,000. My grand total is $225,000. We're adding the total over and over again to desk grand total because it does not go back to zero. So anything your program needs to remember between clicks of a button needs to be a module level variable needs to be up here at the form level. Now, last thing I want to say is about debugging. When you're writing your programs, the hard part is why is my program not working? If you set breakpoints and hover your mouse over the variables so you can see the values, you can see where your problem is. I mean, 90% is, what's my problem? 10% is, oh, that was an easy fix now that I understand it. So please learn to use the debugger. So it is now time to end this video. Thank you.